Yo, welcome Fronies. Today we're going to take a look at fishing and how you can use fishing to earn a lot of Solent, even Lucent, and you can actually earn craft materials for your arch boss weapon. So stay tuned. I am here in Vienta village. This is where you are following the main quest. You will then get to this little penguin right here and he will give you your first fishing quest. You should do that quest and then after that quest you're gonna try to collect 300 contract coin tokens. At the contract coin manager you will then be able to purchase the bamboo fishing rod as well as the daily fishing bait chest. This chest you should buy every day. What you should also buy every day are the energy drinks from our sponsor Rogue Energy. Because we all know I have a couple of kilos too much and Rogue Energy is an energy drink with only 5 calories per serving and if you're going for the hydration one it's even at zero calories so it's my energy of choice you can check it out in the link in the description and if you use code pony you will even get 10 percent off your next order what you should also buy every day is here in castleton at the sundries merchant you will find the golden ray and this one you want to buy all 10 pieces every day because this is essential to level up your fishing level the fastest. If we are going to cooking recipe and we are going to miscellaneous, we will now find the rye bread that is giving us 15% increased fishing mastery bonus while it's active and the core ingredient is ray. So this is giving you your daily limit. So always buy that. The milk and the salt, that is easy farmable, unlimited if you're putting some effort in. To actually start the fishing now, finally, you will equip your rod and your paste bait. You will see it equipped then right there. And when you are close to a water source, you can click the rod once. You will see a aim where the rod is being casted. You will see that your bait is here where usually your stellarites are. And then you can cast the float. You will then see the fish hovering here. And now he's snatched. When the fish is biting, you will have to press R to do additional damage. And you can see here how his health is being depleted. So what you want to do is you want to keep the fish exactly straight towards your eyesight. And when the fish is going to the other side, you will balance this out with A and D. There's no like crazy mechanic or anything to it so you're throwing it out and now the fish he will come here he is he's doing two circles so that's the first one that's the second one and now he snaps you're getting the additional bonus damage at the start making your catch faster and then you just balance it out Important is that you do not hold down a key because the right bar where you're having the green this is your energy if the energy is depleting to zero, the fish will swim away. What you want to do um, regarding the positions. Once you are fishing level 1 to 5, you want to be here in Castleton Port. For level 6 to 9, I recommend fishing here at Vienta Village. You will realize that when you are fishing in the chat box to the left, you will then see each fish that you are acquiring has a certain experience. So if you are acquiring crayfish, it's low. A green one is better, a blue one is already really good. And um, therefore you want to go into different areas at different levels. At level 10 to 14, you want to be here at Daybreak Shore and you already see a fellow guy that caught a fish right there. It's a Terran eel. For level 15 to the max level, I would recommend fishing in the spots here at Pure Light. You see there's lots of water sources right there. Besides only increasing your fishing level by catching fish, you also have to make sure to upgrade your rod. And therefore you can go to a Sundries merchant in a city and you will select miscellaneous. And here you see the different routes that are available. So basically the bamboo fishing route that you purchase with the contract point is the base and then you are going up and up and up and up and always you have to get the other rod as the base material for the next one. The scarce resource that you need for upgrading here is called nature's jade. And the nature's jade is mainly coming from the big catch sack right here where you are getting it at a 33% chance. And this is also where you can get the materials for the craft of your arch boss weapons. And those specs are the resource of your Solent. Uh, let me cut here to a part where I open 30 bags at once so you can see how much Solent you're getting there. Let's open 30 pieces. And let's go look at our goal. We have 1.5 million now. It was 3.3. 3. 
Holy shit, we got a Tavern Soul Fragment. That is really good. This is also where you're getting the Tavern Soul Fragment, besides the World Frost itself, to craft the purple rod, the highest tier rod. But there's also one more trick, because if you are going to the Amidoi Expedition map right here, what you want to do if you are a passionate fisher, you want to run Daybreak Shore only. Nothing else, only Daybreak Shore. Because in the Daybreak Shore sack, there you're getting the Kraken Fishing Rod, the currently the best rod in the game. Sorry to interrupt, but short self-promotion is needed. Currently, 91.2% of the people watching the videos are not subscribed to the channel. So let's make a deal. If you learn something new in this video, you have to subscribe. Now let's talk a little bit more about the loot that you actually have. We already said that the fish have different rarities, they have different EXP, and they also serve different purposes. So for example, some fish, I would dissolve them. So right here, for example, the Arovana, if you're clicking dissolve, you will see you will gain access to the uncommon fishing oil that you need for cooking, but you will also get bait again. So basically by dissolving fish, you're getting more bait to continue fishing and leveling up even more. And you see right here, there's a bunch of them that are dissolvable, some others are not. So try to dissolve as long as you want to level, for example. The other thing you want to do is you want to cook. I don't have it unlocked, but it's this right here where we're getting PvP hit 100, PvP critical hit 100. And therefore you need, for example, a seafood platter. And to craft a seafood platter, you will need to have fish, obviously, right? So it is highly important that you are fishing and besides selling the arch boss pieces for crafting for lucent that you could do if you don't want to craft them yourself you can also make lucent with the food directly as you will see here the food can be sold for lucent so it's actually viable now as a source of income for free to play players to be crafting food and to be fishing gathering materials like all of that as a source of lucent so yeah my final words i think the life skills in in Throne and Liberty have a lot of value. You should definitely dig into them. And even though you might don't have the time at every day to do all of your fishing, at least buy the golden wire and the bait box so you can do it on another day where you maybe have more time. Yeah, this is it. If you have any more questions, let me know. As always, I will answer everything in less than 24 hours. Cheers, guys.